this story when you hear this. Please turn over the page. My Little Pony. Baby Quackers and the Sad Quolly. Baby Tic Tac Toe chuckled to herself as she reached for another apple. I am doing three of my favorite things, she thought, biting noisily into the juicy apple. I'm sitting under a sunshade, eating apples and playing knots and crosses. And because I'm playing against myself, I'm always the winner. After a few more games of noughts and crosses and two more apples, baby Tic-Tac-Toe felt sleepy. She lay down and closed her eyes. Before long, she was fast asleep. Even when Baby Bouncy, who was practicing her flying, landed near the sunshade with a bump and a shout, Baby Tic-Tac-Toe didn't wake up. Look at her! That's because she stayed up late playing noughts and crosses, laughed Baby Bouncy, as Baby North Star flew down beside her. I was up late last night dancing with the stars, said Baby North Star. I wonder if there's room for me under the sunshade. <gasps> oh, I think I'll have a sleep too. What lazy friends I've got, sighed Baby Bouncy. I think I'll go and visit the rainbow. Baby Bouncy had almost reached the rainbow when a big black cloud sailed past her. Heavy hooves! That's the biggest rain cloud I've seen for ages, muttered Baby Bouncy. I'll visit the rainbow another day. I'm going home before it starts to rain. Baby Bouncy had almost reached Lullaby Nursery when it started to rain. Below her she could see Baby North Star and Baby Tic-Tac-Toe hurrying for shelter. What a nasty shock to go to sleep in the sun and wake up in the pouring rain, thought Baby Bouncy. Baby Fifi and Baby Lickety Split had spent the morning tidying up the nursery. Stay in the kitchen, ordered Baby Lickety Split when the three wet ponies hurried in. You'll have to dry yourselves before you come into the playroom. We don't want everywhere messed up again. Bossy hooves, laughed Baby Bouncy, shaking her mane. Anyway, it was your fault you had to tidy up. You spilled ice cream everywhere and Baby Fifi played slides in it. I didn't mean to, retorted Baby Fifi. I just didn't see the ice cream on the floor. Then, when I stepped in it, I couldn't stop my hooves. You looked very funny, even though you did make the floor all sticky, laughed Baby Lickety Split as she passed Baby Bouncy a towel. I felt very funny too, Baby Fifi replied as she helped Baby Tic-Tac-Toe to dry herself. Baby North Star, she added, put that sunshade in the sink. It's making a puddle. Now you're being a bossy hooves, chuckled Baby North Star, but she did as she was told. Then she wiped up the puddle. Suddenly, Baby Tic-Tac-Toe remembered something. I've left my pillow outside, she gasped. It will get soaking wet. Baby Quackers is upstairs playing with her toy ducks in the bath, said Baby Fifi. Why don't you ask her to go outside and fetch your pillow? She loves going out in the rain. So Baby Tic-Tac-Toe hurried up to the bathroom. Baby Quackers was having a lovely game with her toy ducks. She thought Baby Tic-Tac-Toe had come to play too. I'll play with your ducks if you'll go outside and get my pillow, said Baby Tic-Tac-Toe. It's raining ever so hard. Baby Quackers was delighted to hear that it was raining. Of course I'll go and get your pillow, she agreed happily. I can't understand why none of you like playing in the rain. It's such good fun to splash in puddles. You will bring my pillow in before you start splashing in puddles, won't you? Asked Baby Tic-Tac-Toe, feeling worried. Sometimes Baby Quackers stayed out for hours in the rain.
I'll put it in the kitchen sink for you, promised Baby Quackers. Then I'll go back outside and have a lovely splash around. After she'd taken the pillow in, Baby Quackers decided to go and play in Babbling Brook. She was splashing around happily when a giant lily pad floated towards her. Oh, good, she chuckled. I'll pretend it's a boat. I'll be the captain and we'll sail to unknown places. Out of the cave. 
She laughed happily as they shot through the waterfall, and Quolly laughed too. Before long, Baby Quackers was pulling the lily pad boat onto the bank of Babbling Brook. A family of ducks came by and told the baby pony that they'd met some pixie sailors who were looking for a special doll. Go and find the pixie sailors and tell them that Quolly is safe, said Baby Quackers. I'm taking her to live in Lullaby Nursery. It had stopped raining. And as Baby Quackers pulled the lily pad towards Lullaby Nursery, she could hear her friends playing in the garden. She called out to them and they raced up to see what she wanted. This is Quolly, explained Baby Quackers. She has lost two of her wooden rings so she can't walk. We've got to think of a way to mend her. What about the rings from your stacker toy? asked Baby Tic-Tac-Toe excitedly. I'll go and find them. The rings from the stacker toy fitted Quolly perfectly. She laughed happily as she followed the baby ponies into the garden. Oh, I do like it here, she said. Can I really live here? Of course you can, replied Baby Quackers. You can come sailing with me every day. You do like sailing, don't you? She added anxiously. Yes, I went sailing a lot with the pixie sailors, laughed Quolly. And when you feel tired, said Baby Tic-Tac-Toe, you can sleep on my pillow. After all, if I hadn't left it in the rain, Baby Quackers might not have found you. There is another new story on tape about My Little Pony. It's called Dancing Butterflies and the Bad-Tempered Butterfly. <laughs> <laughs>